Welcome to Watch Cards Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is FIFA coin hacking. I always find it interesting when my interests or hobbies collide, and today's story involves one of my interests that I no longer have time for, video games, and of course my passion, information security. Today, the FBI took defendant Anthony Clark to court in Texas for a case of conspiracy to commit wire fraud. As it turns out, Clark and his accomplices, who are a hacking group calling themselves Rain Developments, had created a malicious tool that contacted Electronic Arts' servers to create something called fake FIFA coins. Electronic Arts, of course, is a big video game company, and one of their most popular games is FIFA Soccer. And apparently these FIFA coins are used to create in-game purchases in certain uh, sections of that particular game. In any case, this hacking group led by Clark actually used this tool to create tons of illegitimate or, or not official FIFA coin, which they actually then sold on underground markets in, in China and other countries like that. And apparently this isn't big business, even though this is kind of virtual pretend money you use to buy stuff in a pretend game world, it's very valuable. There's many gamers out there that want this coin. They pay real money for this, this type of coin. And apparently these threat actors were said to have made over 15 to 18 million based on this particular theft. Apparently stealing video game pretend money is actually big business. In any case, he's going to court for this on this charge of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and I just thought it was quite interesting. First of all it is good news if this guy really is guilty of cybercrime. It's good that authorities are taking him off the streets. But that said, as you're considering whether or not you are a target, you need to realize all the creative and fancy ways bad guys can actually monetize information. Uh, the fact that they could actually take pretend video game currency and get a lot of money from it is quite interesting. It just goes to prove that that they have many different ways that they can monetize almost any information. For instance, just stealing the software keys off a victim's computer can make them some money. So everybody out there is actually a potential target for these type of attackers. Anyways, there's not a big practical takeaway to this story. I just thought it was interesting and good news. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.